the Morgan three-wheeler. Probably my new favorite car for the entire pack. I want to whip this thing out and just give it a little bit of a test drive. Maybe go do some races with it. And then I think we should build the thing up all the way to the max and see if we can get this crazy little three-wheeler sideways. The thing is made of wood. It looks awesome. It has fake bullet holes painted to the side of it. It's green. And most importantly, it has three wheels, which is just cool. Just look at it with the engine hanging out the front. Oh my god, there's already the paints for it. We need someone to um, to go in here and recreate Hammond's paint from Top Gear with like the bullet holes painted on the side and the lady and stuff. Can you do three-wheeler versus Robin? Maybe I should try that. Because that does sound pretty cool. There's a new barn? They didn't tell us there was a new barn. Uh, we'll go deal with that barn in, uh, shortly. In the meantime, though, I wanted to investigate the Morgan three-wheeler, so this thing is rear drive. One rear drive, I believe, right? It is, it is rear wheel drive. Yeah, it's rear... <laughs> I love how they have an engine. They have the opposite of the car. So, okay, so we've got one we rear wheel drive in the back there. The thing is super slidey. It has 82 horsepower. Like, if you turn it hard, like, I'm not pressing the handbrake or anything. I'm just leaving the power in and turning. It has zero grip, this thing. Like, braking hard for the corner, turning in. It's so slidey. I mean, I guess you would expect that with it missing uh, an entire wheel. You know what we should do, actually? We should do what that guy said. Compare this with the Reliant Robin. Which one is going to be better? The Morgan or the Reliant Robin? Super bad. It's not a Reliant Robin, but you know what I mean. It's the best of the three wheelers. I think it's got to be the Morgan. It's more stable. It's actually really proper quick, but it all depends on what we can do with upgrades and stuff as well, right? You have to keep in mind. Now, because the engine's visible, you can see the engine right there. You might not be able to upgrade it. Now, you can do that in the Reliant Robin. So, is, which one's going to be faster? I don't know. We could also put on the, the, what are they called? The rolly things, so you don't roll as much in the Reliant Robin. So, I don't know. I think we're going to do a pretty cool little test here. Speed zone. So, let's go here. I want speed. Yeah, speed zones. Perfect. I guess coming in from here is the best. Hitting it there, getting that corner, and then going out that way. I think we'll do that. So, we'll start roughly around here. We'll give ourselves three attempts. And then, whatever the top speed is, we'll win. And then we can do it again after. Alright, we're gonna try to give these things very equal opportunities, so we have consistent results to find which one is the better three-wheeler. I'm really excited to go and drift these as well. They should make for some really cool, like, tests. Now, the first thing I'm noting, this Morgan is completely stock. I haven't done any upgrades to it. I don't even know what upgrades I can do to it. But... I think this should be really, really cool in terms of not so much stock, because I think this is going to win stock. You know, the FIFA Brony subscribe. Thanks, bro! Me? I think this is going to win stock, but I, I have a feeling the Reliant may be surprising for some upgrades. So, okay. The Morgan got 76.22 on its first attempt. There we go. Cut the inside. There we go. Brilliant. Nailed it. All right. Coast through there. Break a little bit, coast again, coast again, coast again, coast again, coast again, and on the power. Oh, I should have shifted down through there. That was, that was not good. This run can be improved, but I have a feeling this one's going to be smooth. Yo, Ginger Boy just subscribed too. So many subscribers, man. Thank you to all y'all subscribers. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome, awesome people. Okay, okay. Watch out for the Bentley. Picking up speed as we're going downhill. Oh, 75? Just 75? Well, all right. Our first attempt was much better than that. It was just too much coasting there. The speed to beat is a 76.22. All right, so we've got the Reliant Supervan. Apologies if I keep calling this Reliant Robin, by the way. They're like sort of kind of the same. They both have three wheels. They're cool and stuff. Anyways, I'm just going to come in here, make this thing completely bone stock. I did it again! 
I poured water on myself. I even saw it in the camera. I think we may only need one attempt of this. I don't know why we were trying to be so scientific on our first attempt, but I mean, we'll, we'll see what the Reliant can do. We'll be fair to it. Oh God. Yeah, we should try to keep it on all three wheels though. All right, Reliant, try to stay on the three wheels. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a nice set of bubble car. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, I've <laughs> failed the speed zone. Take it slow and steady in the Reliant. All right, slow and steady, slow and steady, slow and steady. Yep, we're still on three wheels, good. Oh, it's so slow. Oh man. Yeah, you know what? May only be doing one attempt. Oh, he totally can't get up the hill. He totally doesn't have enough power to get up the hill. Sucks to be you in a bubble car. <laughs> Picking up the speed, going down the hill. There we go. Hey, Reliant, buddy. 67 miles an hour. Hey, we did 51.7. I'm going to chalk that one up as a win for the Morgan. What we're going to do now, though, is we're going to go in, get the Morgan three-wheeler, See what upgrade- did I take an Evo? Let's see what upgrades are available for the good old Morgan. <gasps> We've got conversions. <gasps> oh my god, we can actually engine swap it. Oh my god, we can swap in the same engine as the Reliant. The Reliant actually has the same engine swap. This is- you can't see it. It's- it's a- it's a- it's a four-cylinder motorbike engine. I am totally swapping that in. That actually doubles our horsepower. It goes from 82 horsepower up to 200 horsepower. We can twin turbo it- or we can turbo it. Bring us up to 234 horsepower. This thing's gonna have zero grip. We can toss on a front. That would not do anything. I'm sorry. That's not gonna do anything. That might. So we had 82 horsepower stock in this. I just wanna see math. I wanna do math. 3.5 times the horsepower that we started with. I mean, I didn't put the race tires on though. So I guess in the meantime, we should go and have some fun and drift the good old Morgan. Because I have a slight feeling the Reliant's not going to win. Like, this thing's just really good, actually. And it actually has some pretty decent upgrades, especially if you go in and toss on the different tire compounds. You could actually have decent grip and actually race this thing for real. Which would be kind of weird, but you could. Holy shit. Okay, it's really slidey. It's really, really slidey. You know what? You know what? We're gonna take this up to where I do drifting used cars. We're not gonna call this an episode of drifting used cars. I just want something to compare it against. Like, I know good cars will get over 100k. And if you're getting less than 100k, it's like, eh. This might do well. There's no way a Morgan with three wheels can knock the things on the drifting used cars leaderboard. Okay, the... I didn't tune this thing, now that I'm thinking of it. And the gear ratios are super weird. So I need to fix those. But we'll call that like a practice run, I guess. Those gears are super weird. All right, let's go to like there. We can't give it any camber or anything. We can't change the ride height. Yeah, everything's locked. Because this car has like zero technical upgrades for it really so we're gonna have a little bit less grip than we usually would which may or may not help i think it's gonna probably hurt more than anything because the morgan isn't like a byword in grip really so we might spin we might yeah i mean it's just practice right it's all just practice i just want to get over 100k in a morgan because that'd be cool 100k drift zone in a three-wheeler Oh god! No! Australian pleb. And now let's rip it in. Here we go. Try this. How's this gonna go? For the little Morgan. It's like, that is way too much angle for a three-wheeler. Jesus Christ. You can see it. It's like fighting me the entire time. It feels really weird, man. Okay. There we go. Looking good. Can we beat our 64k that we got before? I hope so. There we go. There's 64k. And 66, 67. Here's the thing with this car. It can actually drift. Like, if you look at this thing, it drifts real nice. It's just, it doesn't get many points because it doesn't get that much angle. Which is kind of, which is kind of annoying, to be honest. Because that's how Forza does points. They do it based on 
your angle and whatnot. But, I mean, yeah. So you know what I want to do now? I just want to head back to the uh, auto show. Put the grippy tires on. Raymond's like, it, get, it gets less points because it has less wheels. So let's put the race tire compound on. Sadly, we can't do anything with, like, the suspension or anything. Or, like, the camber or, or the stiffness of the car. We just have to deal with it the way it is. And then I want to try to race it around. All right, so let's go do a race. Where should we do a race? I feel like I want to go to Surfer's Paradise. Oh, no. Let's go up to Surfer's Paradise. Let's find ourselves a nice little point-to-point -point race. That one looks pretty good. Through Surfer's Paradise over the bridge. Yeah. So let's see how this does against a slew of full four-wheel cars. And my Morgan with three wheels. Uh, keep in mind, this is on the hardest difficulty. And uh, we should see what this can do. It's still super slidey. Yeah. Even with me putting less tire pressure on the thing to try to keep it grippy. Yep, it's still super sliding. You give it full gas, it slides. It does not go around corners without sliding. I am surprised this thing is as slidey as it is. I mean, it makes sense that it's super slidey because it has one wheel in the back and it's doing all the work. And when it has like nearly 300 horsepower, it's gonna spin a lot. Today I learned, conclusion for the little Morgan three-wheeler, may not be the best race car, may not be the best race car may not be the best drift car however it is the best three-wheeler as we figured out fairly early on versus the reliant supervan and it is really fun to drive around it like having a three-wheeler chucking it into corners like that is a lot of fun i really like this thing it's like let's try to do everything let's try to break in a straight line let's try to do everything we're supposed to do as like a proper racing driver so we're gonna break early for the corner Braking and as soon as we turn a bit it just steps out It's impossible to drive properly and I kind of love it for that like this is probably gonna be people's favorite car from the entire pack It's probably my favorite car uh, Probably it's probably up there for one of my favorite cars in the entire game now because it's just so different something so cool something you Don't really get to experience very often in a in a Forza game like this and I believe it's one of the first times you've actually gotten a proper three-wheeler in Forza that's actually sort of like drivable. Actually, I say that, do we, we don't have the player slingshot just yet. So yeah, this is probably the, one of the first proper drivable three-wheelers. Because yeah, I said of all the car, although it's not, a, uh, not really a three-wheeler, it's like impossible to drive. The Reliant Robin rolls everywhere and you can't really race it, even with the like stability bars. And what other three-wheelers do we have? I'm sure we have another one. I just can't remember what it is. Anyways. Quite a disappointing result for the Morgan. That gets a that gets a, a 9.5 out of 10. Oh no! Raymond says, Nick, I just had the best slash worst idea for a top gear challenge ever. It will be horribly funny. Where is the barn find? What do three wheel donuts look like? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Even with the race tires, the Morgan is pretty good. I approve of this little thing. Let's go find the barn.